A friend of mine entered the train, traveling to another city for a job. He met a, an African sister, I will not mention the country. So on the process, this lady was with a child. She said she was coming from one city. She's visiting another friend in another city. So she sat with my friend and another guy that was with my friend. They got talking. Then my friend asked her to get the child out of the kinder wagon because the child was crying. So she now got the child out. They were talking. They got to the city. My friend now directed her. And my friend, on the process, she sold my friend, the friend of hers, which she's going to visit. My friend now says she liked the friend, that uh, she should give her the lady's number. So the shared number, my friend later called her to make sure she got to where she's going to. Then, the next day, she now called my friend and said that she is going back that day. She didn't have transport. Can you imagine? So that uh, my friend should help her with the transport. My friend was like, I don't have 150 euros. And moreover, I just met you. Yes. She was like, eh, you should support me with the transport. But I gave you a wife. Can you imagine? My friend has not even spoken to the lady. My friend don't even know if the lady has the characters of what she's what he's looking for. So... This uh, matter between my friend and the lady that introduced my friend to her friend ended there. So my friend started chatting with the so-called friend. The friend now wrote my friend. She has a seven-month-old child that my friend should come and visit her to make her happy. So my friend finished working that day, told her that he can't come, that they will come the next day. So after work that day, my friend went. My friend said when he got there, he got there around 10 in the night before he was even coming. The lady asked her to come with a condom. A woman with seven months old child. So my friend went. When my friend got there, my friend says, Stanley, if you enter that house, you will ask yourself, is he an animal that is living there or is he a woman, a human being? And moreover, a seven months old child. He said the whole place was smelling. The whole place was messy. He said that even before he got there, the lady called him to help her to buy a drink from the kiosk nearby he bought the lady appreciated the drink he said when he got there the lady was like uh, that she smokes marijuana he she hopes my friend doesn't mind so my friend said no she said she didn't even have money to buy her marijuana my friend now gave her 30 euro she went bought her marijuana she came she called some people to buy it her dealer came sold to her she smoked after smoking she now asked my friend he hoped my friend came with condom my friend said no, he didn't, even though he did. Because messy in the environment, the whole place was smelling. It was not what my friend was expecting. So my friend was not in the mood to have anything to do with her. So she now gave my friend a, a pillow and a bed sprayed of duvet. My friend now slept on the sofa. Uh, and even the condom, my friend came with fall out of the jacket and his glasses. So she helped him to keep it on the table, didn't he? Next morning, early in the morning, my friend was leaving. Now knocked on the, her bedroom door to tell her that he was going. This woman was raged that he shouldn't knock on the door. My friend said, I just want to tell you that I'm going. My friend left. So tell me, a woman with seven months old child, very dirty, smokes marijuana. What kind of a man is she expecting that will come and want to marry her? Tomorrow now, if this country collects her child, they will say the country is wicked. Can you imagine bringing up a child under such environment? A seven months old child, the mother smokes marijuana. She's from Africa. So what kind of future is that child going to have? Please. Tomorrow now, they will say no man wants to marry her. What kind of man wants to marry a woman that smokes marijuana? A woman that virtually will use all your money to be buying marijuana. A woman that cannot tidy the house, that the whole house is smelling like a zoo. Some of our African sisters, oh, I know they try, yo. Oh, I know they try. I did not want to mention the country, neither do I want to mention the state or the tribe because I don't want to stigmatize anybody or want to call out anybody. Yes, but... If you have a friend, a lady friend, or an African sister who is like that, please advise them. Her shame, they shame me. Or such people, they are shame, they shame me to know that they even come from Africa. We are not dirty people. We are clean people. 